Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves here a free backpack leaf blower. It has been sitting for 10 years. I think it's like 12 years old. Um, I got it from an old landscaping company. They got sick and tired of it. So they basically threw it in a garage and it's been there ever since. So I don't exactly know what's wrong with it. It could be spark. We could have a bad cylinder here. Could be electronics. We don't know. So let's get to diagnosing and see if we can't get this baby working again. Let's give you the old walk around here. You know, basic uh, backpack leaf blower. You turn it down there is on. This is a uh, Echo 500T. Echo PB 500T. That's the kill switch on and obviously you got your speeds here and you got your trigger. Um, here's the padding. Obviously we are uh, shy one strap and this one is a little questionable. So if we get it running we're going to need to do that. A little worse for wear here with the old stickers, PB500T. Oh, there we go. 2010, so it is uh, 11 years old, going on 12 years old. They said they bought it, used it for a year, and it's really been sitting ever since. But they use this thing every single solitary day, and it is not locked up. It rolls over, kind of hard to do with one hand, but I want to get some uh, oil down into the cylinder here because that's a long time sitting with no lubrication. It does feel like it has compression though, which is good. Things we are missing. There should be an air filter cover here with an air filter inside, so if we do get it running, uh, the mixtures are not going to be exactly right, but you got our little little choke here. Functional. Nothing's broken. It's a little dirty. Let's see if we got any gas in her. Oh yeah. Nice blue two-stroke in there. Y'all probably can't see, but... Yeah, the fuel don't look bad, it don't smell bad. Hopefully it's uh, not ethanol. Or the old carburetor down here, which is looking a little sad. Just a little dirty. I think it does have uh, mixture screws on it. The gasket is uh, pretty terrible. But that's to be expected. Nice and taut. Um, spark plug wire doesn't look all, it's a little dried with a little coating there, but get on off of there. It looks good. Top of the spark plug looks good. Not too shabby. Pretty decent. You cannot beat free, people. All right, let's get this started, get some oil down inside this thing and seeing if there's any compression. All right. Oh, you're toit. There we go. Be plenty. See how it's looking. Yeah, it's a little. Actually, I'm gonna add just a drop around here because it's coming off a little hard. There we go, loosen it right up. Not too shabby. Still gapped. Not half bad. A little carboned up. No, 
Not too shabby. It looks like it's running good. It's got a gap on her. It's not closed off. We'll try to see if it has any spark. We might have to use a jumper wire because there's like hardly any metal on this thing, but let's get to it. Got loads of compression. Hot dang, that's good. Sucking and blowing. Well, we got loads of spark. Let's try to show you here. She's got uh, spark for days, so we got a little oil in there. Let's actually throw this bad boy back in there. I think that that is good. The old neighbor got a little jealous and he's using his backpack leaf blower now. Actually, what we're gonna do is just give it a little pumpy pump and see if we can even get this thing running without anything, just seeing if they made a mistake. Since she's not going, I'm actually gonna just dump some fuel right down the cylinder to make sure we're not having carburetor issues. got carburetor issues people she ain't pumping that is good good news let's do it one more time sweet Folks, got it choked. All right, she's a runner. We're gonna try to get uh, that carburetor issue squared away. That is good news.
gasket isn't bad where the carburetor actually hooks up to it here, but uh, yeah, it's uh, goddamn neighbors. Yeah, it's uh, not good. Doesn't look terrible though. It's just not getting fuel at the moment. Focus in on that bulb. Can you see it? You see the hole? It's broke. So, no wonder it's not pulling fuel like that, priming it. It ain't gonna. Plus, that carburetor's pretty junky. The uh, gas gets all tore up. It's not really worth rebuilding these carburetors, in my opinion. I mean, geez buy them for like 10 bucks so we're just gonna buy a new one we're gonna get an air box and hopefully everything else is good and we'll uh, try that but it runs we're gonna stick the bore scope in there just to make sure nothing looks bad I'm gonna buy some new straps too oh, we might even give this thing a new paint job we'll see Probably not. Loads of compression. Let's get the cylinder down. There we go. We'll stick the bore scope in there. It's a little gunky in there, but carboned up but I think we can clean that up with some good running and I don't see anything wrong it's got plenty of cross hatching Let's see Let's see if there's even any yeah there's a bit of rust up here in the cylinder oh a scored piston might be a big old groove I really can't tell if that's a groove or is that just rust It's not good. It's got tons of compression, it's just got that groove there. to uh, do something about that you see all that oil sitting in there
That seems to be a groove. Damn it. Well, it runs, but uh, yeah, it's got a grooved cylinder wall. The rest of it looks healthy, man. It's a little carboned up, but you can see crosshatch. It's also kind of hard to tell on this little computer thing. Well, we will see. I'm getting a new carburetor anyway for it. It's 10 bucks. I think you can get a brand spanking new cylinder and piston and everything for like 100 bucks. So still, this is like a $360 leaf blower that we got for free. It's probably worth just trying to get a run. If it runs, I'm not even really worried. It, catastrophic, whatever. I don't think it's going to do that, but uh, if need be, we can spend a hundred bucks and put a new cylinder in this thing. Everything else seems to function. Again, I haven't tried the lever out yet, but I, uh, I'm looking at all the linkage and trigger works. It functions that carburetor. You can hear it. Obviously, we got spark. The ignition module's good in it. Why not? What do we got to lose? It's free, huh? Free. Where'd our spark plug go? There you are, little buddy. Don't run away from me. We'll put fuel in it one more time and let her rip. Okay, one more time here. It runs. Yeah, like I said, I am not a mechanic. I don't claim to be a mechanic. But, we got a free leaf blower here. So, I'm at least gonna try my darndest. We got a bum carburetor. Uh, we got a possible scored a piston cylinder pretty good but it runs so why don't we just run it you know of all those fails 100 bucks put a new piston in it we're not going to be paying anybody to do it so i'm sure we could probably easily do it ourselves exhaust works hopefully the rest of the fuel system works if not it's just cheap line you know Everything else is good, back padding's good. We just need one strap. Everything else seems to function. The, uh, everything up here is functioning. Turn that off. As long as it blows air, I'm happy. Well, there you have it, folks. We only got one strap, it's a bum strap. Um, I think it'll work, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. I think I can. I think I can. Thomas, keep on going. Cruise control too. Oh, still functions and everything down here. I think it's worth it. Free. You can't beat free. Let's take this off before that strap breaks. Well, there you have it, folks. Y'all seem to like the old motorcycle video we did. Um, I just happened to be looking for a leaf blower and I happened to find somebody that gave me one for free. So I figured I'd do a video on this guy too. It wouldn't classify it as a relic like the old motorcycle, but uh, you know, whatever. She's a uh, 12 year old leaf blower. We got the work that's been sitting for 10 years. Now we gotta get the carburetor, the air box, and uh, cross our fingers on that cylinder definitely looks like it's grooved and not uh yeah it looks like it's grooved but it obviously ran for us and it might actually not stay running and revving up but well we'll cross those lines when we get there 
You can get a piston cylinder kit on these things for, I think it's $100, so. $360 leaf blower for free, $10 carburetor, $100 cylinder kit, we're in it, what, 110 bucks? 10 bucks for a strap. We're probably gonna come out all right on this thing. Tell me what you all think. Do you think it's pointless buying a new cylinder and putting it in this thing, or just run it until it's dead, or what? These things aren't cheap, you know. You buy a brand spanking new one of these things, they're expensive. Oof.